The euro and the pound sterling dropped considerably yesterday, yet their decline was quite gradual. It may seem that currencies have weakened ahead of the Fed meeting. However, there may be another reason, given that the pound sterling eventually dipped lower, while the euro consolidated near its current levels. It appears that market speculation was the main reason for such movements in anticipation of the FOMC meeting. If traders were bracing for certain results of the meeting, the euro and the pound sterling would show a similar dynamic. Besides, a 75 basis point rate increase will hardly impact market sentiment. Investors have already priced it in. For this reason, they are more interested to find out the Fed's future plans on a monetary policy. If Jerome Powell hints at a similar increase in September at the press conference, it may push the euro to the parity level again. After that, it may slide even lower in a short time. If the Fed chair signals a slowdown in the pace of a monetary tightening, the euro is sure to assert strength, rising to new highs. This scenario looks likely as there are first clear signs of a slowdown in inflation in the United States. The EURUSD pay escaped the sideways channel of a 1.0150 and 1.0270 by breaking out its lower border. As a result, the quotes came closer to 1.0100. There was a pullback from this level to the lower border of the previous narrow range. Currently, there is a high level of speculation in the market, which triggers share price wings. It's better to open short positions if the price stays below 1.0100. If so, traders could push the euro to the parity level. Otherwise, there could be a false breakout of 1.0150. The pair will again slide into a narrow range. The GBP USD pair um, managed to hold above 1.20, and this is why speculators are betting on its further rise. Perhaps this price movement was caused by market speculation, so it's recommended to constantly monitor its pivot levels. The main pivot levels are located at 1.20 and 1.2090. Depending on the price movement from these levels on the 4-hour chart, traders will see what trend will eventually prevail. How we're going to be in the short term, we will definitely tell you in our next news release. Don't miss them and stay up to date with us. See you soon.